Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. And ooh, I know it feels like it's been a minute since I've been on here, in my head anyway. But yes, elves, we are back with this episode of your favorite video. That is Weekly Candle Post Burn Reviews. Let's get into it. We have six candles to talk about. We have a nice variety, actually as well this time we got a nice little spread here i like when i mix in more brands makes it more fun for you all as well as myself but before we do that let's take care of our housekeeping that we always do elves you know what time it is lipstick of the day everyone lipstick of the day we went kind of pinky peachy today and this is none other than mac kind of sexy lipstick i am digging this this is a color I've been in love with for five years and I'm gonna to continue to love it. It's a forever color in my opinion and I'm glad they still make it because honey, they've discontinued so many things. I don't even wanna get into it. But alas, Kinda Sexy by MAC is our lipstick of the day. Fragrance of the day, everyone. Fragrance of the day is from the house of Chloe and this is none other than Chloe Nomad Absolute de Parfum. We like this one. This one is more woody. It has plum in it. Oh, it's so good. This is for the lady that doesn't mind a little woodsy, a little dash of masculinity in her perfumes. This is for her. The original Chloe Nomad, I, she smells generic and regular, but this one is for the wanderer, the one that has a little bit more hipster in her she's a little bit more earthy and even in the ad even in the advertising for it that's how they market it so and i think it's very accurate but yes chloe nomad absolute fragrance of the day so all right everyone let's get into our weekly candle post burn reviews we have six candles and yeah let's get right on into it the first candle we're going to talk about is from bath and body works and this is none other than the pumpkin snickerdoodle candle from our fall 2021 collection y'all remember we love this collection i think this one actually won a superlative yes that was a fun video definitely check that out if you haven't already so let's see here the notes in pumpkin snickerdoodle were warm sugar cookies ground cinnamon fresh nutmeg sprinkled with sugar okay snickerdoodle is a sugar cookie essentially we like it now let's get into our criteria. Oh. Time out. I did not lay out the criteria. Elves, stop me. <laughs> well, we got ahead of myself there. We rate candles by three criteria here on the channel. Those three criteria are burn experience. How did it burn? Like it's actual burning. Do we have to keep relighting it? Do we have to babysit it? Did it go out? That type of thing. Category number two is throw on a scale of one to 10 one being non-existent scentless it's just wax 10 being powerhouse exploded by clothes the next day and then in the last category the one that's the most important and that is would i repurchase it again and that's simply a yes or no question now back into the post burn review for pumpkin snickerdoodle so all right everyone burn experience this one did really good as you can see burn evenly all the way down flawless victory there just a little slight burnage with the flame on the side there, but nothing too bad. So this one did good. I could walk away from it. It could do what it do. Now, throw. <sighs> Pumpkin Snickerdoodle. In fact, all of Bath and Body Works Snickerdoodle candles always does this to me. I love how they smell on cold. I'd be hoping they throw like really strong and they never do. The throw on this one was a six. And that was on a good day. A lot of times it was a five. So yes, I could smell it, but I had to be right next to it to smell it. So this one did not do what I wanted to do, but I still like the scent. So for that reason, I wanted to give it a 5.5 .5 to a six. So we'll go with 5.5 .5 for this one on throw. I just need you to do better. Pumpkin Snickerdoodle, you gotta do better. And then would I repurchase this one again? Because I'm noticing a trend with when it comes to their snickerdoodle candles, I'm going to have to say no, I would not repurchase it again because I need you to do more. I need more from it. It's not giving what it needs to give. Sorry, pumpkin snickerdoodle. The next candle was actually gifted to me. This one is from the brand Sizzling Scents. It's on Etsy. We like that. Ah, made in the USA. We like it. This one was the warm, no. This one was the Vanilla Maple Pecan Candle. It came in a lovely box like this. 
Ails, y'all are so sweet when y'all send me things. I really do appreciate it. And this is what it looks like. This is our candle we received. And yes, I had fun burning this one. Again, this is vanilla maple pecan. It's hand poured. Yeah, we love small business here on this channel. So this was a two wick candle. Yay. And it had a lot of fun like designs and stuff in the, in the middle of the wax that burned down with it. So it was very fun. And I like the glass. Very luxe. So burn experience was very good. I didn't have to babysit it. It did what it needed to do. Very even on down in there. We like that. Now throw. Throw on this one was a seven. It was very gourmand. Again, it's a vanilla. The vanilla in here was very, very serious. The babel, I didn't get as much. The pecan was kind of the background, but the vanilla was the most prominent in this candle. We like. Now, so I give the throw on this one. I give it a seven. Yeah, look, I give it a seven. Now, would I repurchase this again? Hmm, would I actually repurchase this again? Hmm, not necessarily. I would not because they were cool, but it wasn't the most memorable for me. They were all right, but alas, hey. It's my honest review on it. It's all right. I need more from the pecan and the maple in here. That's just my thing. The next candle we have up is from Bath and Body Works, everyone. And this is an online exclusive. This was the Fall Farmhouse candle. Yes, Fall Farmhouse. In some cases, you can even still get this candle. I know one of my stores locally had it in store. So this is a candle you can probably still get your hands on. Fall Farmhouse, the notes were Spiced Pumpkin, Forest Pine, Branch, Fresh Fall Air. This one is such an interesting scent to me. And yeah, it's so weird. It's very polarizing. You either love it or you hate it. It's one of those types of scents. But alas, burn experience. Excellent. No issues. You can see burned all the way down. Minimal suitage. We like that. Throw on a scale of one to 10. Fall Farmhouse throws. This bad boy is an eight. It's very strong. You're gonna smell it very very nice it's borderline almost extremely strong but not quite there yet so that's why i give it an eight so it did very good i like it you're gonna know it it's in the room you're not gonna miss it now would i repurchase this candle again and it is a yes yay we have our first yes for the day everyone get excited i enjoy fall farmhouse it's very earthy it's very it's literally smells like a fall barn that's what it smells like minus the pigs and what goes along with it <laughs> it's really good i like it it's a very unique scent that pine branch is serious in here that pine branch to me helps to get me ready for what's to come which is holiday which is going to be filled with everything that's balsam and fur and all that yeah it's gonna be full of that this season but yeah fall farmhouse is good and i definitely would buy it again it's a yes for me next candle up but this one is from aldi their huntington home line this was the Pacific Redwood Candle, check that out. I was obsessed with the color of the wax because I love forest green, anything obsessed. So let's get into burn experience, three week candle. It did very good. It was a slow burner. Even to have colored wax, this one took its time burning. It really, really did. It, I, I almost was like, okay, I'm almost over you. Can you like hurry up? Because I'm kind of over the scene at this point. <laughs> it's one of those kind of situations throw to be a woody scent this one was not very strong i give it a five and i said it because some days i could smell it some days i could not hence me being like okay can you hurry up and finish burning because i'm not really enjoying you like i want to so y'all probably can guess what i'm about to say next would i repurchase this candle again and it is a no for me it's a no it didn't give what it need to give so try again do better nope the next candle up. Now this one has a very um, interesting story. It's my fault, but alas, we'll talk about it. This one was from my Vela box that I did receive. I think this was my September Vela box actually. This was the candle Southern Nights. Southern Nights is a single wick candle. The notes in the Southern Nights were dark ozone, citrus, and amber. It's a soy wax candle and it's from the brand Elevated Scents, again, which came in my Vela box. So you all, I was having a lovely moment. I was burning this candle, enjoying it in my office. Then for his burning experience, it mushroomed a whole lot and the wick was starting to curl over and do something really weird. So the burning experience was like, I had babysitted. So ugh, on that, however you all, so I tried to cut the wick 
and I ended up cutting it and apparently ended up cutting too much and yeah so that's why you can't see my wick anymore in here yikes but I was enjoying the scent so prior to that incident um yeah the throw was actually about a seven to be a single week this was actually a good candle I enjoyed it and then I tried to warm it on my warmer you all I'm sorry I know some, I know there's a whole community that likes to put candles on the warmers and all that it's just not the same team burner over here I can't do it it's just not the same it didn't give me the same effect as when this candle was burning and just quite frankly I'm over it so would I repurchase this one again? Actually, yes, I would repurchase Southern Nights again because I did enjoy the scent. I'm the one that messed up the wick, forced it, trimming it, but alas, yeah, it was a lot of issues going on with the burn experience. So I would actually want to re-experience re this candle in its true form. Uh, I hate that it happened, but hey, I gotta keep it 100. That's why y'all see all this wax in here. Hey. And then the last candle we have in this week's edition Post Bomber Dues is from Aroma Delure Candles. This is their Purple Meadows candle. It's another small business that you can find on Etsy. We love Etsy here. The notes in Purple Meadows were lavender, green leaves, chamomile, sage, fig, and sandalwood. I burned this in my office at work, and this was basically aromatherapy, which, okay, we all need aromatherapy at work. I'm just saying it. So. Now, Burn experience. This thing suits. Look at that. This thing suits like nobody's business. Look at all that. Single wick candle burned all the way down as you all can see. The wax burned evenly and beautifully for its that part but the suiting was like girl. And I had to trim the wick a lot because it kept mushrooming a whole whole lot. So burn, burn experience was interesting and the flame was kind of high so I did have to watch it and pay attention for safety purposes. Now, throw on a scale of 1 to 10, throw on this one was about, it was a 7, because I could smell it in my space, and I also received compliments on it from my coworkers, so that's always good. Now, would I repurchase this one again? Eh, no, because it wasn't a scent that changed my life. This was more of a true run-of-the-mill aromatherapy scent, so it wasn't, it was generic smelling to me. It wasn't something that was revolutionary. It was nice, but it wasn't nothing I need to break my neck to get. It was okay though. Hmm. But alas, it was nice, but I don't need another one. So all right, everyone, that wraps up this week's edition of Weekly Candle Post Burn Reviews. Elves, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, everything that's on my face is also linked below in the description box, so you don't have to worry about that. And until next time, I will talk to you all later. Bye, else.